Howdy everybody, Larry Hewitt here with Atomic Ebates. Today I'm uh, dipping uh, some mini tubes or you know for crappy fishing, any kind of pan fish. And uh, I've had a few guys were wondering. Uh, it's no different than in my mind's eye uh, as if you were dipping your larger tubes. Uh, what we did here is uh, we took some tent stakes or uh, the uh, anchoring uh, for lawn decorations that uh, you'll, you can get. And uh, what we did is we just we mounted them into a handle, or a friend of mine did. I had them mark it off here. We scored it and marked it at two inches for when we're dipping. And uh, it's the same concept uh, that uh, I do with the larger tubes. I uh, take a little cotton ball, or you can take one of the eye patches. I take some uh, vegetable oil, put it on there. Give the rods a little coating, just like that. And I got a little fan over here. It just kind of Just takes that little bit of excess off, and you want to get your uh, uh, plastic uh, up to the temperature, which I normally like it right around 335 to 340. Um, today, uh, so today we're doing the blue smoke. Uh, I make it in the larger because I usually just don't make up enough for me. I, I make up a bunch for. Uh, for guys that want to buy it uh, on the hobby shop that we have here and, uh, and of course always anything that's always left over I'm always incorporating in, into other baits uh, we've already poured the or dipped the uh, larger tubes earlier uh, this morning this afternoon we're doing the uh, little crappy tubes and after you stir it up uh, now, if you, you you can add salt if you want, I uh, I've got a video where if I do it with uh, the amounts of salt, I usually do it prior to coloring because the salt being white will lighten up. So this way, when it's it already white and as you're darkening it, you can get back to the color you're looking for. So basically, right here, take it. Right down to the score mark, and I've uh, I like to just hold it over my cup. I've other guys I know will tilt it upward and downward and move it around, uh, which is fine. Uh, it, each to their own. I uh, just for me this is what suits me. Uh, it works out pretty good, and I usually dip them twice. And just as it's starting to slow down, I trim them off. Put them in a pan right over here to let them set up a little bit. You can uh, use a cold water bath if you'd like. Uh, if you want to speed up the process, uh, I usually just take them. I got a little fan over here that blows uh, over to the vent system that I got off at this moment just because it, it'll drown the sound out. But there you go, slide them right off just like that, and you're good to go. Now, if you want double colors, uh, and it's whatever you're, uh, you're going to do, uh, like for some of the core type, uh, you only have to dip down to uh, about that inch mark roughly. Uh, and do the same thing here but don't take them off have another cup with your second color and you can uh, dip it for a full if it's on the outside now if it's the other way around where your uh, your dominant color is the head you're going to want to dip your clearer or lighter color at the full mark and then when that's uh, at its dry point dip in the other one um, if you're going to do a lot of them, you're probably going to want to go down to a, uh, two smaller cups. But uh, make sure that it dries enough or sets enough to where when you're dipping in the other one, you're not stripping color 
to where it's going to change your second color as you're doing this. Uh, a friend of mine, when he wanted to do some, uh, he got down here before I did, and he was like, the first 20 was good, and after that, he started to shade it, and he didn't realize. He didn't let it dry enough to uh, when he switched it over and did it. So hopefully that there will help you out. Uh, if you're going to use any type of plastisol, I say go with dead-on plastic. Uh, this stuff, even when it cools down to about 320 it, uh, and even lower, it's very well still workable, whether if you're dipping or pouring. And uh, their stuff is great. Uh, hopefully this will help you out. Uh, if, if you're wondering about float material, salt material, I have other videos up. Please check them out and uh, give it a like and uh, hopefully this helps you out uh, good pan fishing and tight lines good luck everybody